Hello, my name is Chris Minnis and I'm an enterprise architect here at Mainline Information Systems. Today I'd like to take a little time to talk to you about the Metallic Cloud Storage Service and exploring a few ways to use uh, that feature in your environment. Data is a company's most valuable asset and IT's first job is to protect the viability and availability of data and the systems that provide that data to other employees. The cloud is a great target for housing that backup data. Our IT staff is increasingly mobile, so the cloud can be a logical destination for backup, but choosing a cloud provider and right-sizing the service that you need can be difficult. It's just hard to right-size a service that you've never used before. Once the data is with the cloud provider, you want to know that it's safe and secure. You want to know that the performance of any restore actions are going to be excellent. And there's fear around losing control of your data. In October of 2020, Commvault announced Metallic Cloud Storage Service as an available feature for Commvault Backup and Recovery, as well as hyperscale environments. This is basically a cloud storage target uh, from a Commvault and Azure agreement that allows for ultimate security and scale, fully integrated into the Commvault and Metallic suites. So a uh, single pane of glass to manage uh, all of your backup destinations. So tape, backup to disk, and now backup to cloud through this Metallic cloud storage service provides uh, flexibility, simplicity across the board. And because you don't have to sign an agreement with Azure specifically, you can do this directly with, uh, with us and Commvault. Uh, it should make for predictable cloud costs as well. Metallic Cloud Storage Service provides an air-gapped solution and privileged access controls are managed within the Commvault single pane of glass. Uh, this makes for a very simple uh, environment, uh, very predictable subscription model, uh, scales with your needs. Uh, pricing is uh, per month, per year, per three year contract. Uh, pricing is uh, by the terabyte. So uh, you know exactly what you need. You pay for exactly what you have. Really very simple solution. So some of the example use cases that we look at, first of all, customer that has an aging tape solution. So MCSS enables cloud to be used as a backup target, just like any other disk or tape target. This means that your Commvault backup and recovery can write directly to the cloud storage and read from it for restores. No compute running in the cloud and just like tape, but no worry of media degradation. So you can potentially age out of that tape solution and convert to a cloud-based solution, but you don't have to throw away your tapes. You can use them as long as they are viable in your environment. Another use case is that the backup to disk space is running low on free space, and you think maybe it's time for an archival approach, but you really don't have a retention plan. This really comes down to spending less money but retaining existing features comfortability, reliability, but you know, easy or maybe even easier. So MCSS is the easy button to secure data, control costs, and manage the cloud. So you can keep your recent backups on premise and archive the old ones to MCSS. Archive the old ones to the cloud and create a retention policy for crying out loud. And mainline professional services, we can help you with that as well. Another point is the question of, you know, it's kind of time for you to leverage the cloud for backup and recovery, but you're really not sure how to go about doing that. You've heard that it's complicated, that you need to pick a vendor. You're worried about picking the wrong vendor. Uh, it's going to be difficult to learn something new. And you've heard from some of your friends uh, that egress fees are something that you should really worry about. Well, cloud does bring a lot of benefits, but you have to remember it also brings a lot of questions like what sort of storage should I choose? Many cloud vendors have multiple, uh, you know, different varieties of 